You're breaking up with me. You useless, self-centered, superficial loser. I like to think I was pretty cool. I didn't mean anything about anything to anyone. And I knew that guaranteed me a long, depression-free life. Universal Pictures and Studio Canal invite you to meet a man. How would you like to be Imogen's godfather? Who has devoted his entire life. You must be joking. I'll drop her on her head at her christening and forget all her birthdays until her 18th when I'll take her out and possibly, let's face it, you know, try and sleep with her. To himself. I, I, I just thought you had hidden depths. No, you've always had that wrong. I really am this shallow. The thing is, a person's life is like a TV show. Marcus! Can I come in? No. I was the star of The Will Show, and The Will Show wasn't an ensemble drama. Everyone thinks you're weird. I was only trying to feed it. You're the one who was throwing bloody great loaves at the ducks. Yeah, he was. What do you want from me, Marcus? Mum's at it again. <laughs> she sits in the house all day crying. I can't help you with anything that means anything. You could try. You will end up childless and alone. Well, fingers crossed, yeah. This isn't my problem. I'm not your family, mate. You don't give a damn about anybody, and nobody gives a damn about you. From the producers of Meet the Parents and the makers of Notting Hill and Bridget Jones's Diary. Alone, bad. Friend, good. Comes a story about how much more you can get out of life. This crying in the morning thing is depression. You know, let's get that fixed. When you let other people in. It must look very confusing from the outside. Mm, tell me how it is on the inside. I want to go out with her, okay? I'd like her to be my girlfriend. There, I've said it. How oh, brilliant! He fancied you. He told me. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I think your mum's keen on him. She's not keen on him! She's already keen on me! I was in some strange territory. Was I frightened? I was petrified. So can I come in? Maybe. If there's hope for Will, there's hope for us all. About a boy. Anna Scott is the most famous actress on Earth. Oh, she's great. I have loved this. I love her smile. I'd say she's the most beautiful woman on the planet. Will Thacker is the least successful shopkeeper in Notting Hill. Do you have any books by Dickens? We're a travel book shop. Uh, we only sell travel books. How about the new John Grisham thriller? That's a novel too, isn't it? They're worlds apart. There's something wrong with this yogurt. It's mayonnaise. There we are, then. But only a moment away from destiny. Thanks. Pleasure. I don't think you'll believe who was just in here. Was it someone famous? Hi. Hi. Probably best not to tell anyone about this. I'll tell myself sometimes, but don't worry, I won't believe it. There's this girl. But you absolutely mustn't tell anyone else, okay? Not Fergie, is it? Spend all your money, make you suck at toes. Oh, my God, my flatmate. Hi. Thank you, God. Do you have a stunt bottom? I could have a stunt bottom. Then what do you put on your passport? Profession, Mel Gibson's bottom. Actually, Mel does his own ass work. Right. <laughs> Rita Hayworth used to say, men went to bed with a dream and they didn't like it when they woke up with reality. Do you feel that way? No, you don't. Tomorrow, there'll be pictures of you in every newspaper from here to Timbuktu. Let's stay calm. No, you can stay calm. Anytime I've tried anything normal, it's just been a disaster. From the creators of Four Weddings and a Funeral, comes an unlikely romance. Anna's a goddess. You know what happens to mortals who get involved with the gods. Between two very different people. The fame thing isn't really real. You know. I live in Notting Hill. You live in Beverly Hills. Everyone in the world knows who you are. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. In a place called... Notting Hill. I wouldn't go outside. Why not?
Hello. It's lovely, lovely to see you all. Love, love, love. Lovely. Lovely, yes. Love, love, love. Hi, hello, darling. No, no, I'm not busy. No, far away. Love, 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 love. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go get the shit kicked out of us by love. Yes. Who do you have to screw around here to get a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit? <laughs> right. <gasps> Bonjour, Aurelia. Bonjour. Excuse me for one second. OK, that's done. Uh, um... You should come sleep at our place. Uh-huh. But there's one problem. You'd be naked. No, no, I think it'd be fine. <laughs> Best shag you ever had. Britney Spears. No, only kidding. <laughs> she was rubbish. There's nothing you can do that can't be done. There's nothing you can sing that can't be done. Oh, God, it's half the book. There's nothing you can say, but you can learn how to play the game. It's easy. One motion picture will bring you all the surprises. <laughs> that life and love can offer. You are the loveliest girls I ever set eyes on. Can you not get them married, Mrs. Dashwood? Mary Ann and Eleanor, as different as two sisters can be. Do you love him? I do not attempt to deny that I think very highly of him, that I greatly esteem him. Esteem him? Like him? Eleanor is not like you or me, dear. She does not like to be swayed by her emotions. Columbia Pictures invites you. The more I know of the world, the more I am convinced that I shall never see a man whom I can truly love. To fall deeply. Marianne, you must change. You will catch a cold. What care I for colds when there is such a man? You will care very much when your nose swells up. You are right. Help me, Eleanor. To feel intensely. There's something of great importance that I need to tell you. Why did you not urge him to stay? He must have had his reasons for going. I do not understand her, Mama. Why does she never mention Edward? Eleanor, where is your heart? <laughs> to surrender completely. Your sister seems very happy. Do you think he'll kneel down when he asks her? Shh. They always kneel down. To risk everything. We know so little of him. What is it you suspect him of? Willoughby! <laughs> From Jane Austen's timeless classic. There's some blue sky, let us chase it! Comes a motion picture beyond all expectations. Academy Award winner Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, Kate Winslet, and Hugh Grant. Sense and Sensibility. This is London. It's wonderful. Aunt Lucy always dreamed of coming to London. If she saw this, it would be like she were finally here. Aunt Lucy! Oh, Paddington. This is perfect. I've had a brilliant idea. I'm going to get a job and buy that book for Aunt Lucy's birthday. Hello, window cleaner. Ow. Are you quite sure you're ready for the workplace, Paddington? 
It's Phoenix Buchanan. Dad's celebrity client. I suppose you know who I am. Oh, yes. You're a very famous actor. VIP, celebrity. <laughs> or used to be. Now you do dog food commercials. <laughs> this pop-up book, where on earth did you find it? Mr. Gruber's antique shop. Stop! Freeze! <laughs> Hold it right there. Oh, but I'm not the thief. Mysterious things have been happening all over town. We're rich again. I may look like a hardened criminal, but I'm innocent. We're going to need a foolproof plan. If anyone can recognize a criminal, it's us. He's a master of disguise. Wow. This is breaking an entry. We haven't broken anything. Where do you think you're going there? Paddington wouldn't hesitate if any of us needed help. He looks for the good in all of us. Oh. Marmalade. Oh. Take a seat. Come on, Wolfie. Ow.